Hello. In this video, I want to show how we can prime factor any number. Uh, before talking about prime factorization by tree diagram, I want to define prime numbers. Prime numbers are the numbers uh, that are divisible by themselves and one. Uh, we need to understand that one is not a prime number. And after that, uh, let's see what numbers are prime. Uh, two is a prime number, then three, five, seven, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and so on. These are the numbers that are prime. Uh, other numbers except for these numbers are composite numbers. It means that we can uh, factor them uh, into prime numbers. Uh, let's uh, start factoring uh, 35 by tree diagram. In order to do that, we're going to write down number 35, then we're going to break it down into two numbers. What are the two factors of 35? Or in another word, what are the two numbers that if you multiply uh, together, you get 35? You can answer me by writing down seven and a five. And since these two numbers are prime over here, we're going to circle them. And this is the end of our branches in this tree diagram. That means that I can write down uh, 35 at, as a seven times five. Let's prime factor another number let's say 24. Uh, what are the two factors of 24? Meaning that uh, what are the two numbers that if you multiply together, you get 24? You may answer me in different ways. Like uh, you may tell me three times eight or two times uh, 12. Uh, whatever your answer is, uh, the final answer will be the exact same thing. Uh, so we're not going to be worried about that. So now I'm going to write down this as two times 12. I'm going to circle two because it's one of my prime numbers. And then 12 uh, can be uh, broken down into two times six. Two is a prime, circle it. Two times three will be six. And then this is a prime, this is a prime. Once uh, we circle all the uh, end of the branches, we are done with prime factorization. And you can write down that number as uh, those uh, multiplication of those um, prime numbers, which is two times two times two times three. So it's two times two times two times three, or better to say, it's two to the power of three because I have two three times times three.